De La Wright, my envy this. Welcome. Queen Naomi got pregnant and lost that baby. Who was the baby for? Was that baby not for Kabi AC? Has she not been having affairs with Kabi AC? The entire time we have been here, she has been seeing Kabi AC. Kabi AC has been seeing her. Today we are talking about a uh, Lagos mansion. Without Lagos mansion, they see in so many places and they see in different countries privately. And so what is the problem? Why is everybody thinking we don't want her? Me personally, I don't want her in the palace. The problem is that Nami has always wanted to return back to the palace, but she does not want us here. We are not the one who don't want Naomi. Naomi is the one who doesn't want us here. And she has been with her husband the entire time. And people should stop saying that we threw her out of her matrimonial home because she is still seeing her husband. Olori Miriam continues to fume over the fact that they asked her to leave and she is saying that she is not going anywhere, that she has no problem with Naomi returning back to the palace, that she, Naomi is the one who has a problem with returning back to the palace with them, that Naomi has to understand that Oni has married them and they must stay with their husband, that Naomi alone cannot move them out of the palace and she she is not going anywhere welcome back to my channel it's your girl Dela ram i bring you fresh and spicy juice from the sauce it's still on the royals <laughs> dory don't wear care lego wahala you go back you come front you go back you come front <laughs> mariam don't turn another thing on she is saying, swearing brimstone and thunder that she's not leaving the palace. That she's not the one who does not want Naomi. That the narrative that people are carrying about that she does not want Naomi, uh, they don't want Naomi, that it is not true. That let Naomi return back to the palace if she wants to return back. Nobody is stopping her. The palace is um, uh, open for her. She's only of her first wife. Tade Nikawo is only of her first son. That she is not stopping Olori Naomi. But if Olori Naomi is expecting her to leave the palace for her, that it will never ever happen. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. When God go move you from that place, you know, go no. You go move like breeze. Do not worry. Don't worry. You. Mm. you know, the thing is that nobody can tell the fortification that has been done. Because when you see them begin to exhibit this kind of strength, this kind of authority, this kind of um, uh, 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 confidence, it's because of the, le the level of fortification. But there is, it's important for everybody to know that what God does not cannot do does not exist. What God, what God cannot do doesn't exist. It was God that parted the Red Sea. If he could part the Red Sea, see, and drown all of those tormentors, people who were tormented, the Israelites. What do you think he can do to this? This one are moin moin. Now beans. Do not worry. God is coming for all of you. They said she went ahead though. She was saying a lot of things. That Olori Mariam, um, Olori Naomi had been pregnant since she left the palace of the Oni of Ive. And that she can say it categorically that Naomi was pregnant for KBSC. But unfortunately, that Naomi lost the baby. And if Naomi was pregnant and it was not for KBSC, the world would have known, but it was for KBSC. That so, well, how are they seen? Where are they seen if they are not seen? How did she get pregnant? That people are making it um, um, seem as though they do not want Nami in the palace. They are trying to fight against Nami. And this, this is it not true? Is it not true? The truth is bitter, but it must be told. That if Nami uh, wants, Nami should return back to the palace. Nobody is holding her. But if Nami is thinking she will leave the palace for her, that that will never happen. So at the end of the day, the truth remains that Nami has already spelled her own to Kabi Essie. 
Move them from the palace. I come back. You don't move them from the palace. Forget about me. So this one is Kavya C that entered this contract with Olori Mariam. It's not Naomi. And so at the end of the day, it's up to Kavya C to look for how to deal with this issue. If he's not able to deal with the issue, okay, Kordinu, let it stay that way. Nami will continue to go, but they go, um, go. will continue and go. But the truth remains that Kabia say, if he's not able to deal with this issue, he should be ready to give Queen Naomi divorce because me, I'm very tired of this wahala. I The other day, I, 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 I listened to one blogger. She said that huh, this thing that people are saying that those women will leave that palace, that it might be difficult. She, I used to say that you people will get angry with me. You said, Delaran, why are you saying that it might be difficult? It might be difficult. Very difficult because it does not seem as if only of if um will be able to just push these women out. Oh. It looks like there's something restraining him. I don't know if it is the royal um uh, regulations or rules or something. There's something. I remember a time where they said um wives were be um uh, BMing him um and we have had that again but I do really think that there is something that is stopping KBAC from being able to send these women out and that thing is very serious and he may not be able to do it. And Nami has made it very clear even last week she said it again that if they don't leave she's not coming back. KBAC should be pre prepared to free her because even the brother Bero said that Nami will get married to another man, and Nami is going to have children for another man. Ben Ru said it. So, the thing is that if she does not want to be part of this bandwagon in the palace, there is nothing anybody can do about it. It's her life. She has a right to choose the kind of life she wants for herself. Nobody should try to force her, and it would be very unfair for anybody to try to force or judge her. Um, if KBSC is not able to move the women out of the palace, they should just allow that woman go. Nami has suffered so much, she does not deserve this. Because with the way Mariam is talking now, there, you can see that there is some level of um, um, fortification. It could be a diabolical fortification or anything that has given her that confidence to be saying what she is saying right now because she is not begging. Her. She is even challenging the elders from what we are hearing allegedly that can dare uh, go to their daughter's houses and tell their daughters how to live with their spouses. That what makes them feel that they have the right to do that with KBAC and with them. That uh, she is not going anywhere and nobody can push her out. They should not forget that KBAC married her um, traditionally. She is a legal wife to um, um, uh, KBAC. Nobody has the audacity to move her out of the palace. And which is true. Which is the truth. So it's KBSC alone that can move them. If KBSC does not move them at the end of the day, Nami will not come back and everything will scatter, which is what they want. But let's see. God is still at work. I'm going to bring you more update. Thank you.